off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hey, we are starting out another sunny day Me and Ashley, we're just kind of a twosome this summer, aren't we? Yeah Yep, it is 9.30 and uh, we've been awake for a while, getting our stuff done. I've been awake, awake since five in the morning. Oh, Chelsea said she woke up at four. Yeah, because we've been awake for ages because we never can like go to sleep. Like, I've sorry. Been, I've been waking up at 5 a.m. each day and I'm like, why? I just want to wake up at like 10. Well, <clears throat> anyway, Jason got up at probably 4.30 or 5 this morning and went hiking with his nephew, with his brother's son, um, which, well, let me tell you first, I'm taking her to an activity day camp for church. It's today and tomorrow. It goes from 10 until three, and then tomorrow we get to see you perform whatever dance they come up with, song. I know, <laughs> you forgot about that. Um, but because she's older and advanced into the older group, tell them what you get to do this time. Um, well, we usually, we get to do archery, it doesn't matter about age, but, um, when you're older, you get to pop balloons and, like, Yeah, you get them. to, yeah, shoot the balloons with the arch, yeah. So that's kind of fun. She's like, oh, I'm in the older group, I can get to do it this time. So, I'm taking her to do that, but because it's an all-day thing, I thought I would take advantage of being in a different area, so I know a different park that I can go and walk at. Do I have my shoes in here? Yeah. Okay. So it's a really good park, I'll show you. We'll take you along. Just because the path, the little trail, just does a giant loop. It just goes around, you know, it's just a big circle. And, but it's all in the wood, you know, it's just all in nature. There's no heavy traffic right near it on the street. So it's very, very quiet. And I used to do this with them. I would put them in the big bob double stroller and walk them and I remember one time I went and I was talking to a friend on the phone and I ended up talking to her for three hours and now knowing how much I walk in three hours <laughs> I probably killed a good 10 plus miles probably even more than that just going around and around and so I'm looking forward to just going I've got a, a new book that I'm listening to so I have three hours left of my book I'm gonna go and walk until I'm tired and then I'm gonna go get my nails done because I've had this one chip and that one chip and they're all grown out. I'm gonna go lighter color this time. Um, but um, the reason why Jason is going hiking with his brother right now, or not his brother, with his nephew, um, because his brother is home from the hospital. It's kind of a crazy story. Let me drop her off really quick and then I will tell you the story he's home from the hospital he's recovering at his own home and um, it's kind of a crazy story <laughs> why he's suddenly home but um, I'm go drop her off really quick and I'll be right back all right dropped Ashley off and I'm gonna just got over here to the park I'll show it to you in here in a minute because it's a really cute park okay so Jason's brother was doing really well in the hospital he had like a really good week of recovery his stats were improving he took the last um, uh, tubes out of his neck that were for dialysis um, so he ended dialysis he was doing really good and they were really gearing him up to go to rehab um, and it was earlier than expected and it was great everyone was excited um, he was excited he wanted to get out of the hospital and then when they went to just you know confirm with insurance that the rehab center that the doctors had picked to refer him to um, insurance suddenly said no we're done paying we're done paying he hit the three million mark <laughs> on his 40 something day stay in the hospital he was in the ICU for probably 25 30 days PCU for a few days after that regular room for about a week and so insurance was like, yeah, we're done. We're done paying for this. They wanted him to go to a retirement home. Yeah, they wanted him to get rehab 
that didn't exist from a retirement home. <laughs> the doctors all called insurance and they were like, no, we're like that's not what he needs. Like he's just spent 40 days in the, in the hospital. He needs, he's lost 40 pounds. He needs to go get rehab. He, can't, he literally can't stand up. He has no muscle mass. He's lost all muscle tone. He's skin and bones. His like skin is literally like, he looks like a 90 year old man. It's so sad. Insurance wouldn't budge. Every single doctor, every single surgeon called insurance. And every single time the insurance was like, no, we're not paying anymore. We're done. If he's not gonna go to a retirement center, then we're done. And so the doctors all had to confer and um, do a little ex some extra stuff and get him some extra meds to like really gear him up um, to go home, to come here to Washington, to be able to get onto a plane. Um, they took some of the pins out of his, of his wrist and his ankle, or his knee, I mean, um, so he could at least get up a little bit easier. Um, and he was progressed to the point where they could do that. But anyway, it just meant that they literally had to like kick him out of the hospital. They didn't want to, but they did. And put him on a plane and he came home. <laughs> he came home three days ago now. And they've set up a little hospital room on their main floor in their living room off of their kitchen. And his wife is doing an amazing job taking care of him. Um, they've just set everything up. We, we went over yesterday to visit for the first time. We got a recliner um, from their basement and brought that up for him to be able to sit in. So he's got a few different places that he can sit and move to. He's capable of getting up out of his bed and moving as long as he has like a scooter, his little scooter from his workshop or um, his walker or a wheelchair that he can kind of scoot around on. But he's home and he's recovering and I think he's gonna recover very well at home because he's very determined. Um, and it's on Jason's way home from work. So he's gonna stop in quite often um, and check on him and be able to just BS and just be brothers and talk and I think it really was noticeable when he finally got his voice back when he started being able to talk to his brothers and his sister on, and his dad on the phone um, that week of his recovery just skyrocketed and we know it's because his mental health was improving he was like oh I can talk to someone I can like communicate with them I can get their support and their you know love and so being at home as with his kids and his wife and his mother-in-law, like he's just gonna recover really, really well. So we're very excited to have him home, but let me go show you this park that I am at. I was kind of worried because there's a closed sign at the, at the gate, but they're just restripping one of the parking lots. <laughs> so I've got my water. I'm gonna leave it here in the car. I'm gonna take my fanny pack and put my fanny pack on. Um, I have to take off the extender st strap in order to put the fanny pack on, which is kind of nice that I don't need to have an extender for my belly, just my boobs. For the meantime, a few more weeks and that won't be the case. Maybe I'll sell the extender strap to one of you guys if you have a lug bag and want yours to hang a little bit lower. No worries if you do. It's totally fine. That's my lot in life. Okay. Let's go show you the park. All right, so that alone, I was wondering what, how long it was actually like distance-wise. Half a mile loop, which is great, because that'll make me more encouraged to like keep going around and around. All right, here's the first part. So I'm trying to get out where you can see the whole thing. So I could either go this direction and follow this little sidewalk down onto a little gravel trail. You can see people over there but it goes all the way around here and it's just all wetlands in the middle of it. And uh, look how pretty it is. Anyway, but I think direction of traffic is going this direction. So, it's perfect. The breeze is gonna keep my hair dry from being sweaty. And, uh, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I forgot, this is such a beautiful park. So I'm going to put my headphones in, listen to my book, it's another creepy book, um, I forget what it's called, The Lion Lies, anyway, I'll find out, and uh, see how many miles I can get in. I'm going to do this for a couple hours, if I get bored of my book, I'll watch TikTok, and if I get bored of that, I'll mark a polo my sister, 
they get bored with that, then and this is in no like order of like that I like my sisters more than books or vice versa. I just need to focus. But if not, then I'll have to call my twin sister and she can chat my ear off for hours. <laughs> um, I just want to read my book. I have three hours left in my book. So I'm gonna go do that. Look at this. Look at this. It has grown in so much. You could actually see the trail back when I did this when my babies were little. And it's the perfect trail. It's just a road. Like it's actual concrete. So it worked really well with my um, bob stroller when I had it. And then look at this cute little park right here. You see that right there? So when like Hannah was old enough, I would bring like a friend of hers. And they could sit here and play at the park. I had the other kids in the stroller. And I could run and do a half loop. You know, or do a loop. It's a half a mile. And then go back and check on them. And then do another loop. Go back and check on them. It's perfect. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's alright. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer All right, I'm done walking. Let me see if my hair is actually like presentable. Oh, ignore. Ashley's friend is back in town from Hawaii wanting to have a play date, but um, Ashley's at camp. Um, anyway, just got done walking. Luckily, Jason called me right when I was like, ah, oh, I should just go. I'm tired. I've walked three miles. I'm fine. And uh, he called and he had just gotten, oops, gotten home from a hike with his nephew and gotten cleaned up. And so we just needed to talk about what he was going to do with the other kids today or whatever. So it ended up talking to him about a bunch of stuff. And he got me to over four miles. I just kept walking. And uh, as I talked to him, I was like, well, there's no point in talking to him while I'm driving if I can get the miles in. So I did, got an extra mile plus while I talked to him. And now I have 40 minutes until I go to um, my nail appointment. And, um, but it takes me, it'll take me a good 25 minutes or so to get over to the nail place, so I have a few minutes to just wait over there. But um, he's gonna take Abby and hopefully Chelsea to Costco. To, Abby wants to make Oreo balls, <laughs> and he's gonna go get her the supplies for that. And then Abby has money that she's gotten from work, some tip money that she needs to go deposit. It's so fun to see her earning so much money and getting good tips for her good character. Like, people are starting to recognize how nice and kind and how much of a good worker she is and it's just starting to pay off for her in a really big way with tips and it's fun to like oops you can't see me there it's fun to see her be able to reap that reward you know it's always good to be kind without having a reward but um they're recognizing it at work so i'm gonna go and we'll see what color nails i end up doing so you can see how bad that one is and then that one got caught on the vacuum yesterday. So I'm like, yep, they're done. I immediately called for an appointment. I was like, I'm done. They're so bad. Okay, I went with pale pink again. I don't know why, it just looks so pretty to me. I don't know, I'm not having the bright pinks these days. So, just got that. Okay, did you have a fun time? Yes, just tired. Just tired, you gotta get the back. Um, I stopped off at Marshall's on my way here to get some face wipes. Kaylee is headed to Minnesota in a few days and needs to pack some. Can you climb in the back, I please? I gum. Okay, I had a piece because you said it was okay. Um, but I'm kind of in a rush right now because even though I've been sitting here for an hour because <laughs> I got the time mess, messed up, I just I didn't want to go back home because I was too close to what I thought was the pickup time and then it turned out I had an extra hour. But again, it just wasn't worth going home for because I don't want to shower until I go home and clean my car out. I'm gonna go vacuum out 
and clean off my mats. And Jason's out doing his car right now, but I need him to get our adult kayak down because I just sold it on Facebook Marketplace. Another hundred for the ladies. I'm doing whatever I can to earn money these days. Um, and we don't use our kayak. Um, but I have like so much interest in on uh, interest on the kayak and I've started to learn the language of the scammers. If they ever tell you, I am interested but I can't come today, mark it as pending, my brother will come this afternoon, say, or just ignore them. It's a total scam. And then the other scam is if they say, oh, I don't have Venmo or PayPal, sign up for this kind of cash app or whatever, don't do it. It's a total scam. So I have a guy who is coming from easily 20 minutes away and he's like, I can be there in 30 minutes. And I was like, okay, you're a legit offer. So, and he gave me his phone number. So I'm hurrying home to meet him there and I gotta get Jason to get the kayak down so he can look at it. So I gotta go. Okay, she just got home, got her a little snack, but you gotta come go put all that down because she, I mean, I literally had this all cleared out. She is kind of a mess. You're not gonna, uh, but I'm gonna pull out my mats. Um, meanwhile, Jason's kind of geared up here in the garage to get it cleaned out. What did this come from? This is the uh, laundry. Oh, I got rid of that. Uh, all right. Well, we're gonna clear this out and then hopefully sell this kayak. But I literally can't keep up with the amount of offers that I've gotten on our kayak. One guy is close to being here, and so I'm kind of giving him a fair shot to look at it. But I had one other person offer $50 more than my asking price, and I easily have 30 people. Is it available? I'm ready to come now. I live right on the, anyway, it's crazy. Um, so hopefully, kind of hope that he doesn't want it, <laughs> but, because I guess, I know he'll want it, but I could sell it for more now. Anyway. We only have one scammer. Yes, we only have one scammer, yes. Um, I kind of, like I told you, I know their verbiage, and then he tried to audio call me, and I was like, no dude, block, nope. I was literally just gonna say this guy hasn't come back to buy the kayaks, but he, is it, did he just pull up? He's got his boat trailer. He's driving around to come up. Um, but what did you just add to your this, beloved? <laughs> a sealer? My, you're my beloved. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> That's far stretch of the word. So this is a seal. Let me show him. Let me get in close. It's a little rubber seal a little rubber in there. Seal, a little gasket kind of thing. It goes around this wind. What do you have in your hand? Q-tip. He's been cleaning the car with a Q-tip. No, you had to clean the gap, so there's no right. the dirt. Right. That's still cleaning the car. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I put it in there because apparently it, it uh, sound. lowers the sound uh, by nine decibels, like six to nine Who decibels. doesn't want to lower the sound by nine decibels? I know, because electric cars don't have noise and okay. there's not as much like, yeah. Okay, okay. So. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm just tired. <laughs> Ignore my turban. I forgot we were filming today. <laughs> I'm not lying. I made my little Ninja Creamy for the night. I'm gonna finish watching um, Below Deck sailing yacht and then I'm gonna go to bed it's only 8 30 <laughs> it's okay I'm tired I have done 14 15,000 steps today so pretty good probably gonna repeat it tomorrow and go for a walk while she's at her Ashley's at her camp um, but today I didn't come home for the day until 4 p.m. I was out from 9 o'clock until 4 and then the guy that ended up buying our kayaks um, I believe we talked about that he was a talker. He was such a sweet man, but he was a talker. And halfway through him coming back to load him up onto his boat so we could strap him in, um, Jason was like, why don't you go in and shower? <laughs> Give me a look like this is gonna take a while. I had showered, shaved, gotten out, dressed, lotioned, like the whole works. Came downstairs, had dinner. And then Jason walked in. He was like, he just left. <laughs> Such a sweet man. He bought the kayaks for his two kids. So he's enjoying, he's going to enjoy them this summer. And he's surprising his kids with the boats too. 
Um, so that was more money that I could put into my surgery fund, which is fantastic. Um, but I'm gonna close out today because I'm exhausted and I'm gonna try and just eat my little creamy here and go to bed. I'm not even gonna watch up in my bedroom. Our couch comes tomorrow. I pray that it actually gets here. It's in Oregon right now. I can see the tracking on it. It's so close. It just needs to arrive tomorrow. It says by tomorrow night. Maybe it'll get here and Jason can actually help me set it up um, so I can actually use it tomorrow night. So I'm gonna close that with you guys. Take care and we will see you guys next time. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.